The circumcenter of a triangle. The circumcenter is the point of concurrency of the three perpendicular bisectors of a triangle. So what is a perpendicular bisector of a triangle? Well, a perpendicular bisector is when we take a segment, okay, we call it A and B, and it's where we take, well, we have a perpendicular line, ray, segment, plane, has to be perpendicular to the segment, as well as cuts it at its midpoint, perpendicular bisector, that's a bisecting part. So he has something that cuts it right at the midpoint, making these two segments congruent, we can call this point C in the middle. And then we have a line that comes right through here, and there we go, it's perpendicular. So uh, this line here, let's call it line L. Line L is a perpendicular bisector of segment AB because it is doing the bisection of A and B, cutting into two congruent segments at its midpoint, and it is perpendicular to segment AB. Again, that is a perpendicular bisector. So the circumcenter is where all three perpendicular bisectors of a triangle meet. So if I erase this here, and we draw a triangle, and there is a special little thing here um, with these triangles that if it's a acute triangle, um, this, the circumcenter will be inside the triangle. If it's a right triangle, the circumcenter is on the hypotenuse of the triangle. And if it's a obtuse triangle, the circumcenter will be outside of the triangle. So for example, I'm just gonna draw a quick uh, acute triangle here. Uh, one of my lines aren't perfectly straight, but it's good enough for what we're doing here. All right, and the perpendicular bisector has to cut each one of these at its midpoint. So we can, I don't know, we can call it triangle A, B, C. Okay, cut it right at its midpoint. Let me get a different color here. And so again, let's go the midpoint. It's roughly the midpoint of segment AB. Cuts into two perpendicular or two uh, congruent segments, and we're making a perpendicular line. I don't know if I can do this perpendicularly. That's roughly perpendicular. Right here. There we go. We have a perpendicular line. And now let's go again. Segment BC. We're going to cut that directly in half. These two segments are congruent. Well, that's more like it's right here. So I get perpendicular. Okay. And here's another perpendicular bisector. And the last one, um, second AC, I'm gonna cut it directly in half. Okay. And I'll make it perpendicular now. All three of these meet at one point. Okay. That point there, we call the point of concurrency. Okay, the point of concurrency of the three perpendicular bisectors of the triangle, and that point of concurrency is the circumcenter, the circumcenter itself. Now, the circumcenter, why do we call it the circumcenter? Well, the this point of concurrency, this this point, this the circumcenter is equidistant to all or equidistant to all vertices of the triangle. Vertices being the endpoints of these triangles where the two segments meet. So point A, B, and C, those point, this center point is equidistant to all vertices. And then that's where it kind of comes in. Why, why is it called a circumcenter? There must be a circle that's somewhat involved in there. And so we can imagine like this is a center point of a circle and we have these, every circle has radiuses and this radius that comes across, let's see this marker draws, yeah. Right here, it comes across here. These are the radiuses of a circle. And each one of these radiuses are congruent. Okay, because the radius is a circle, and so now I'm not the best at drawing circles, but there should be a circle that goes around, touches each one of these uh, on the circle. The, um, these lines are equal to the vertices. The vertices touch a circle three times. Okay, so a lot of times if I want to construct a triangle with the circumcenter, you can almost construct a circle first. So if I erase this here, okay. And uh, let's go with here. We're gonna draw a circle first. Okay, roughly. We have the center point of the circle. If I pick any three points along this circle to make a triangle from it, this point will be the circumcenter of that triangle. So let's go with trying to maybe make an obtuse triangle here. Okay, so I'm gonna pick a point here, a point here, and a point here. This will make an obtuse triangle. Okay, and for an obtuse triangle, the circumcenter is going to be outside of the triangle. So again, let's see, let's see if it all matches up. Now bear with me again. This is all free-handed, but let's cut at the midpoint. 
midpoint here. So well, it looks roughly here. We have perpendicular. Perpendicular to the midpoint there. These are congruent. Midpoints right here. We have perpendicular. And lastly, we have a midpoint roughly here. Let's make a line perpendicular. And voila. This point here, that, that uh, circumcenter of this triangle ends up being outside of the uh, triangle itself, but it's still a central part of the circle. Um, and again, it just confirms that you can almost, sometimes it's easier to create there, the center center of a triangle by creating the circle first, picking any three points along it, finding the perpendicular bisectors of that triangle, and you will get show that this circumcenter will always be the center of any triangle that uh, touches three points on the circle here. Okay, um, and again, e this point is equidistant to every single vertice. So again, if I connected this here, that is the radius of that circle. The radius of that circle. Radius of the circle. And we know that all radiuses of circle are congruent, those lengths. I hope this video was informative, and uh, thank you for watching.